Hi everyone, uh, my name is Busang, an Atlas Corp Class 38 fellow. I'm from Botswana and joining me in this studio is a woman in tech. Her name is Miriam, but she'll actually introduce herself. Um, hi Miriam. Hey. How are you doing? Great, how are you? I'm good. I okay. actually want to hear more about your story, uh, your fellowship, how it has been to you. So tell, us, tell, tell me more about yourself. Okay, so my name is Miriam. I'm from Algeria. I'm an engineer in computer science. I graduated from the Higher School of Computer Science in Algeria. Then I worked as a software engineer, QA engineer, ID project manager, product manager, both in the US and in Algeria. And then at some point in my career, I became interested in the business data side of the work. So I switched to business and data analysis. Wow, that's a lot of work. Eh? It is, right? That's a lot. I think the only thing that I picked here is just business. I don't know about <laughs> I can so, teach you. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, maybe you should teach me so okay, that yeah. I don't have to use a dictionary. Yeah. But uh, there's this misconception about uh, women in technology. Uh, is a narrative that a lot of men uh, can only do technology, okay, only men can actually do technology, yeah. things in technology and engineering and all that. But I'm quite interested in your work. Why, why tech? Why? What's okay. so fascinating about tech? Mm, so definitely there is a lot of misconceptions. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually people will tell you do not do like choose a tech or engineering because it's not for women. Sure. But I mean, I've always been interested in STEM modules. Um, I love math. I, I just love numbers. I can do solving problems using numbers, logic. Mm -hmm. I've always also been so curious about technology. So I think tech came just naturally. Computer science is all about numbers, about logic, about finding solutions to improve our daily life. So yeah, I think wow. it's natural for me. It's quite interesting. It is. And then, uh, so besides, we keep talking about technology and uh, data science. Mm -hmm. Besides, uh, besides, okay, what do you do at your host organization? Mm -hmm. type, yeah. Okay, so um, I serve at Google AI. It's an IT startup based here in DC. Okay. So what we do is we target the nonprofit sector and we help them identify the right people uh, most likely to donate to their causes using technology. What do I mean by that? I mean, so we use our customers' data, we enrich their data um, over our data and then use AI and machine learning to create predictive models to just bring more insight mm -hmm. to their customers' data. So how many? In your department. Okay, so <laughs> I've been like back home, I've been the only woman in like at work, okay. like in the engineering team, and still here in the United States with all of the diversity and inclusion talk, mm -hmm. I'm the only woman in the engineering team, wow. which is crazy, right? That's, that's crazy. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I mean, everyone being like super helpful and like we learn from each other, we share ourselves. So true, true, yeah. all the time. So, um, since you're doing uh, emerging technologies and um, information systems, I'm pretty sure there are other um, global issues that are passionate about. I mean, there are so many global issues that are yep. there. What would you say, um, besides technology, what are you most passionate about? Okay, so um, because of the misconception that we talked about, um, so there's like two social issues very dear to my heart. So it's women empowerment and youth empowerment. I mean, I've been the only woman um, professionally like in my professional environment so i'm young i look way younger thanks to my north african genes and i'm in <laughs> so what a combo right wow so and like i find myself the only woman in these big projects managing teams of engineers like most senior than me and like way older than me and like i find myself spending more time um just like trying to prove myself and like be heard than doing actual work which is frustrating. True. Yeah, and like at some point you just lack energy to do your work. So yeah, definitely women empowerment and youth empowerment. I think uh, that is that's the most interesting social mm -hmm. issue to tackle. Yeah. More so that uh, we're trying to challenge the narrative of mm -hmm. uh, women in technology. Um, I think that uh, resonates well in our continent in Africa because uh, we have amazing young people who yeah, are do. actually not actually um, motivated yeah. to realize their highest potential. And with the work that you're doing, I just want to say, I just, you're doing amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to. So, um, in your advocacy, how has this uh, fellowship? I mean, you've been here, how long have you been in the United States? Five months. Whoa, okay. Yeah. I came here in July. All right, so you've attended the Global Leadership Lab, yeah. you've attended all these other programs that try to um, help um, 
to develop your, your skills, right? So, how has this uh, program helped you um, advocate much better in, in women in Parliament? Okay, so, um, I mean, I've done a lot of hard work back home, and like I said, at some point you just lack energy, you know, you feel like so confined, mm -hmm. develop the negative energy. Atlas Core definitely helped me, I mean, because of the fellows, you meet these amazing leaders from all over the world, just like you, fighting, yeah, fighting for like the same issues, and like they work as hard as you, and even more, mm -hmm. and like they succeeded in what they've done, so it's just inspiring and empowering, just give you this boost and positive energy, like to continue doing what you're doing, so definitely the fellows. I must say that I actually met Bella during the Imagine, Imagine Week, and she's quite, I get to know about more about her story, I read more about her profile, and actually met other amazing fellows. Yeah. I must say it's really interesting, because when we're in the same room with young people who are doing a social, who are actually tackling social issues, you get more motivation to do your work, yeah, so continue exactly. doing the work that you're doing better. So, uh, what has been the most exciting thing about uh, the Ashes Club program, like, ever since you got here? Definitely the fellows, 100%, like some amazing people. We get like to learn a lot from each other, share and just have fun. So, Skating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so definitely 100% the fellows. And the karaoke. The karaoke. We actually had to, like we did the karaoke. Have you ever done karaoke? I've done it. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah, we don't actually have to do the work. But sometimes when you want to have fun, we do yeah. have fun. <laughs> you know how to have fun. Amazing. Yeah.